Okay, so I don't know how many of you remember how bad my garage used to look, um, but this is it now. Almost all the rubbish is gone, and I've just got these boxes of old stock to sort through. So we're going to uh, get started and have a look see. Okay, so purpose today is I want to look for some stuff for the boot sales, and I want to see what's in the boxes for. Um, well, the internet. Stuff I can put up for sale online. So, none of this, these ones have been got to. So, and you can see some of them have collapsed here. I've just got no idea. I'm in a mess. A couple of them I've opened up just to have a quick look, out of curiosity. And then I, I decided I was going to film them. So, should we have a little look? Hopefully you can see tidy. These were nice, I pulled these out a few minutes ago. I've no idea how long this stuff has been in here. A couple of nice, this is a nice um, Balmoral 1911 of King and Queen. So a nice picture of King and Queen there fishing up at Balmoral. That's going on the website, as are these. I found a selection of old coloured engravings or prints if you like, of hot air balloons. So they were quite nice. A bag of cutlery. I've got a box of cutlery around just somewhere that I've already found. Like so. That was by the Daily Mail by Wedgwood, so that's boot sale. Marach. That'll be boot sale. So already we're finding some stuff for the boot. So that's Royal Worcester, 100 years of British public something can't read that tidy limited edition plate that one's got potential so I'll chuck that one over here Japanese designs kimono what are these hmm well that's not my thing so They'll go the boot. They gotta be worth a fiver a piece, haven't they? Eighteenth century floral patterns. Again, these are more specialist books, but it's not an area area I deal in at all, so they'll go to the boot sale. Well, that's Royal Dalton. I'll check that out. But looking at that, it's got an impressed thing there, so that could have something to go with it. What's in there? Nothing at all. So actually, that's a check out. And that one's boot sale. So they can go in the boot sale box. God Save the Queen, 1897, well, that's old enough to be, any time you get these wires, get them off, I don't know why they're still on there to be honest with you. See, that's exactly what they do, they chip the plate, I'm hoping you can see that. Now that's good enough, I think, to consider for the net, so we could have it there. Lightwood and Sun Limited, Birmingham, England. We'll look that one up again. It's got a little something with the fish. Now it looks like Charles Dickens plate. Wedgwood, Mr. McIver. Yep, Charles Dickens. Old Wedgwood plate. I don't do a lot with plates, I'll be honest with you. 
Um, well, I'll check those ones out. So these ones for now will go in my internet box, which I have over here. I've already put these in, which are some real nice big heavy uh, cast iron lion paw feet. It's a set of those to go on a table. Now I shouldn't put ceramics in with them. I may even take them out for now. Let's see how it goes. That diamond there tells you it's uh, 19th century. That is the Victorian lozenge mark. Used from, I think it's sometime in 1850s. Can't quite think now. I've done a video on how to read that. I think that's about 1855, something like that. As old as it is, it's just not of interest to me. It doesn't hold enough value. Look at that. We have a hard, possibly fiberglass, hot air balloon with people hanging out of it. Now I'm going to take that to the boot, but I'm going to put good money on that. That is such a uh, decorative looking thing. I'm going to try that at the boot, but I'm going to try it with money. I may even do a bit of research on that later, see what they're worth. Some nice old train photographs. I don't even know what's in this portfolio. That's a photograph of Grand on like a canvas. Okay. We have Signed red arrows picture one over the pyramids. No, I don't want that. That can go to the boot. Now I intend to keep the portfolio, even though I don't want the artwork. Even then, pictures are going to go to boot. I'm going to keep this so when I have paintings with damaged frames, they'll just be put into here and eventually then they'll be sold. So that's going to get kept. Let's move this. This is the one I went in earlier and I took those bits out. All we have left in this one is some silver plate and to be honest I think I'm going to take it to the boat which then leaves that one empty again idea if them electronics can have any value they can go for a pound or two each they have no interest to me come on that
some velvet. Pair of leather chaps. I was looking to see if they were military. Dead bugs. Uh, they can probably go on the boot sale. Hmm. Always handy bit of cellar tape. Rubbish. Oh, I wonder. Is that the charger to the big car I got? I'll have to look into that in a minute. That's a nice tiger's eye necklace. I'll keep that for the internet. Boots out. I need another box for the boot. I tell you what. Let's do a boot sale box by up. That's gonna go in the rubbish. I'm going to leave these boxes in because they go into the boot cell anyway. No, i got to check them. was going to boot down, I can't remember. Now that's my handwriting, so that's what I would have been asking for years and years ago for the boot. Well, I presume it's my handwriting. That is a vintage tractor rally badge. I'm not taking none of the cutlery to the boot because I have got a lot of canteens that I'm going to sort through and I'm going to list it. It's all going up on the website. Sorry if any of this is all antique canteens. Lots and lots of them. And it wouldn't surprise me if half of these are silver. That it's not there, but I think that is a uh, military issue knife. Blade broke there, unfortunately. It's got a pig stabber there. I 
haven't decided yet. I have to be more ruthless with um, letting this stuff go now. Well, that's Egyptian. Now, none of this stuff has been seen in over a decade. As you all know, I had a hoarding problem. Still do to a degree. I hoard quality pieces now. Now that's signed, will you buy? Well, we're going to have to check you out because you could be somebody good. You can get there. Where's that? Keeping that. Now you see that is stamped there, China. That is still, in my opinion, early 20th century. Decorated and gilding. Have they done, repaired the rim or is that just glue? That's just gunk. Now that's a very nice vase. I don't know why that's in here. Must have been from my early studies years ago, where I started. I'll clean that up, that. We'll be going up on the website. It's a hundred year old, that's probably early 20th century. Late Ching. That one's nice. I need to put that somewhere. 